Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about returns in C++. So when I'm talking about returns, I'm talking about returns from functions. So in C++, we can write functions, which are basically like little containers that store a bunch of code that performs a specific task. And with those functions, we can call them and we can also pass them information. So I can give them all sorts of like parameters and different information that they can use to perform their task better. But in addition to giving functions information, functions can actually give us back some information. So when I call a function, not only can I give it parameters, but that function can give information back to me. And I'm going to show you guys how we can use this and how we can use the return keyword in C++. So why don't we create a function up here? And I actually want to create a function that's going to cube a number. So when I cube a number, I'm basically taking it to the third power. So if I was to say like two cubed, it's basically just two raised to the third power, or it's just going to be two times two times two, right? That's what cubing a number does. So why don't we create a C++ function that's going to cube a number. Now, when we create a function in C++, the first thing that we have to do is declare something called a return type. And a return type basically tells C++ what type of value or what data type this function is going to return. Now in the last tutorial, if you're following along with the course, we just put void here and void basically meant that our function wasn't going to return any information. In this tutorial though, we definitely want to return some information. So you can put any of the generic C++ types here. You can put like int, double, uh, you can put character, you can put string, essentially any of those values can go here. In our case, we're going to cube a number. So why don't we just make it a double? And I'm going to say double and now we need to give this a name. So I'm just going to call it cube and we're going to take one parameter into this function. So why don't we take a double and we'll just call it num. Now inside of this function, all we want to do is cube the number and then return the result that we get. So I'm actually going to create a double. I'm going to call it result and I'm going to set this equal to the cubed value of num. So I'm just going to set it equal to num times num times num. So this is basically me cubing num. So now result has inside of it the result of cubing all these numbers. Okay. Down here, I want to return the value that's stored inside of result. So I can just say return result. And now this is going to tell C++ that we want to return this value that's stored inside of result back to the caller. Now down here in my main function, I can actually call this function. So I could say cube and I could pass as a double, let's say like 5.0, right? Now actually what's going to happen is when we call cube and we pass it this information, it's actually going to get a value back. So if I wanted, I could basically say like double answer is equal to cube 5.0. And now the value that gets returned back from this cube function is going to get stored inside of this answer variable. So let me show you guys, I can say C out and I'm just going to print out answer. And so now when I run my program, what you'll see is we're going to be printing out the result of cubing five. And you'll see over here, we get 125. So five times five is 25, 25 times five, 125. So we were able to cube the number. And you can see here, this is getting a value back. So I'm able to store the value that gets returned from this function inside of this variable. If I wanted, I could also cut out the middleman and I could just um, print out cube 5.0. So let's just paste this bad boy down here. And now it's going to do the same exact thing. So we should get 125. Cool. And actually up here, if we wanted, instead of storing num times num times num inside of this result variable, I could instead just return these guys up here. So we again, cut out the middleman and we'll just return that and we should get the same exact answer. All right. So there's also one more thing I want to talk to you guys about, which is this return statement, this return keyword right here. This is a very special word in C++. And basically whenever we type out this return keyword, it's essentially telling C++ that we're done executing the code inside of this function. So if I was to put like a C out here and I just print it out like hello, when I run my program now, you'll notice that it's not printing out hello, even though we're executing that cube function, even though we're executing all that code, it's never printing out hello. 
That's because whenever we use this return keyword, it's gonna break us out of the function. So this line of code is actually never gonna get executed because it's never gonna get reached. When C++ sees this line, it's just gonna break out and we'll head back down to the main method. So that's essentially what this is doing. And that's sort of the basics of using returns. So like I said, if you didn't want to return a double, you could return any type of data. I mean, a string, you could even return something like an array. Um, so really you can return anything you want. Um, and then that value will get stored over here. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.